Welcome back to Echo Base Network, guys. I'm your host, Nicholas Glenn, and today we are going to be talking about how George Lucas's wife was erased from history. Now, there's a lot of people that claim that the whole special edition was to kind of cut out uh, her edit of the film and kind of do his own edit, uh, and that's another reason why the original... Uh, theatrical releases he doesn't want those to be seen again he wants his edit not his wife's edit uh, which he was part of the editing process too but she played a big part of it but uh, when one thinks of the mighty franchise that is star wars the mind will almost always think of george lucas this is the man millions of fans have to thank for introducing us to the galaxy far far away after all what many fans don't know, though, is he wasn't the only Lucas involved. There was another who helped him conceive his ultimate vision. Her name was Marsha Lucas, and she was his wife, of course. Sadly, Marsha has become somewhat forgotten by many fans of the franchise, but contributed more than most knew. So today we're going to uncover her story and try to help ensure she receives the recognition that she deserves. Now, Marsha met George Lucas back in 1967 when they both served as apprentice editors on Journey to the Pacific. George was still attending film school at the University of Southern California at the time, and they would later go on to be married in 1969. Between the year they were married in 1977, Marsha worked as an editor on many big films such as Martin Scorsese's Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Taxi Driver in New York, New York, as well as her husband's film, American Graffiti, in THX 1138. Her work gained her quite the reputation, with many citing her as the best in the business. However, when George came up with the idea of Star Wars, people really got to see her talent shine. Now, the story goes, while Marsha was in Los Angeles editing Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, George joined her in sequestered himself in a hotel room writing the story which would become star wars it's been said she was actually in, instrumental in shaping some of the greatest scenes from the original trilogy when writing the first film now known as a new hope george intended for obi-wan kenobi to survive his duel with darth vader it was Marsha who suggested he should be killed and act as a spiritual guide for the character luke skywalker george didn't think she would work as an editor on the film due to being pregnant at the time and so he hired british union editor john jempson however he was apparently horrified by the first rough cut so george fired him and brought marsha on board he tasked her with the editing the battle of yavin literally the big climax to the film there was about 400,000 feet of dialogue footage from the cast of pilots, which she had to go through, as well as input all the battle sequences. So it wasn't an easy task, yet she pulled it off perfectly, giving us the battle we know now and love. Regarding editing the scenes, Marsha is quoted as saying, if the audience doesn't cheer when Han Solo comes in at the last second on the Millennium Falcon to help Luke when he's being chased by Darth Vader, the picture doesn't work. Uh, following the release of the film, it wasn't just fans who loved her work, as Marsha would actually go on to win the Oscar for Best Film Editing at the 50th Academy Awards for her work on Star Wars. Marsha would then take a break from her work, focusing on raising a family instead and being in control of all the interior decorating for Skywalker Ranch, the famous home of her and George. However, not content with helping shape just one successful franchise, she also helped shape another during this time. After being shown the rough cut of Raiders of the Lost Ark by Steve Steven Spielberg, who was a friend of her husband, she stated that she felt no emotional closure because Indiana Jones' love interest, Marion, didn't appear at the end of the film. This comment led Spielberg to shoot the ending now seen in the film with Marion included. For Return of the Jedi, the conclusion of her husband's story at the time, Marsha again joined the team serving as the film's third editor. When George was asked about her contributions to the film, he said the scenes she helped edit were the emotional dying and crying scenes. There are plenty of them in episode six. Despite the huge success of her husband's films, Marsha was said to be very unhappy in the relationship and grew tired of George George's constant workload. She saw him as a workaholic. 
What she said led to an emotional blockage. So in mid-1982, she asked for a divorce. This was during the lead-up to the release of Return of the Jedi. Though, So in order to keep up appearances and not cause any negative publicity, which could harm the film, George asked her to wait until after the release to go public. Marsha agreed to this and announced the divorce in June of 1983. Marsha would go on to marry again, this time to stained glass artist Tom Rodriguez, who once worked as a production manager at Skywalker Ranch. They would go on to have one daughter, Amy, but would then divorce as well in 1993. Going back to Star Wars, though, recently there have been suggestions made regarding her absence in the diverse prequel trilogy being part of the reason many fans dislike them. An article published by SF Gate earlier this year called Marsha the Secret Weapon of Star Wars and stated, Considering the reaction to the Star Wars prequels and George's distance from the franchise now, it's not a stretch to say that Marsha was actually the glue that kept the galaxy far, far away together, or at the very least helped repair it when it needed to be fixed. As with any what-if scenarios, though it's hard to say with any certainty, what would have happened had the circumstances been different? But it definitely raises a very interesting point. With her fixing the Battle of Yavin, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Return of the Jedi, one can only imagine just how differently the prequels would have been had she been involved. Regardless, next time you thank George Lucas for giving us Star Wars, be sure to spare a thought for Marsha as well. Now, she's also been in other recent news here uh, where she's talking about uh kathleen kennedy and everybody in the sequel trilogy and she basically said you know you guys don't know star wars like call me like she like you know basically gave an invitation out like hey i'll help you fix this so and i've always said this i thought she was key to the original trilogy she played a big part in it but let me know your com your thoughts in the comment section below and as coach always says we are you are Echo Base Network. Until the next one, guys, we'll see y'all later.